Um, and the last one I like to do this evening is called The Sadness of Dogs. Um, I, I really like dogs. I hope everybody does. And they seem like us, you know. We feed them and scratch their ears. But I often wonder what wolves think of domestic dogs, you know, as being total sellouts. Um, <laughs> it's, you don't really get to see wolves much in Malachi to a zoo. And, and, but if you ever go to a zoo and look at them, they look at us with total contempt and disdain. It's like, yeah, scratch my ears. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like to rip your throat out. But I think I have an idea of what happened. Um, and this starts with a Bedouin proverb. Although the dogs bark, the caravan, caravan moves on, the sadness of dogs. They slunk out of the shadows to sit with us by the fire 10,000 years ago. They only envied us speech, and they came to hear our stories. Stories of bravado and honor. Stories that always seemed to end in sadness. And the sadness you see in their amber eyes is the unconditional sadness they have for us, for our limited and listless lives. They have their days, their star, their years. And although dogs live forever, they've seen our tents struck, our caravans move on. They regard our pointless departures at a distance and either follow the fire or stay and try to tell their troubles to the moon. The moon, their only real friend, and whose only response is the reflected ordinary light of sadness. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.